Homeschool conventions are important to Rainbow for a number of different reasons. I would say the most important reason is it gives us our face-to-face -face time with our customers. It's hard to even describe how important that is, that we're able to be there, talk with customers, help them out. It's just so rewarding to go there. I mean, we believe in homeschooling. The reward when you're there helping somebody decide between this program and this program, you see the light going in their head as they understand how something would work well for their family. It's just beyond measure. I think it gives Rainbow an opportunity to, to reach out into those areas um, and serve them. A lot of people want, they, they look through the catalog, and Rainbow has a very good catalog, but they want to see some of those products themselves and look at them and, and flip through them. When we're getting ready for a convention, we start our planning probably about a week and a half to two weeks prior to the dates of the convention. You figure out how big your booth is and then you uh, map out your, your tables and, and what books you're going to put on them. It takes the crew leader probably a full day to lay out a convention plan it. It takes the warehouse at least two days to pick and pack the convention. We have a picking list and we have a packing list. Then I will take these over to zone one and they will go ahead and pick them in the zones for us. And down this area, I've got all the packers that are here um, that pack up the exhibits for us to go out the door. We have a lot of items here, and they will have a table tote, and then they'll have an overstock tote. The table is everything that they put on the tables at the exhibits. The overstock goes under their tables to be used later. This is Peoria that they're working on right now and they will move all that over here in order of ABC. And then we load them in the trailer and take them to conventions and set them all in, in the places that they're supposed to be in, in the racks and stuff. I think one of the biggest challenges in going to an exhibit is simply deciding what we should take and display at the convention. Uh, Rainbow as a company carries about 40,000 different products and only about 6,000 of those are, I guess you could say, allowed to go out on the road to a convention. Then the crew leader, when he's planning his convention out, usually only takes about 3,500 to 4,500 of those 6,000 titles. So it's a very small percentage that we actually end up taking. So as you can imagine, you know, when you're trying to squeeze 35 to 4,500 items into a, a booth layout, you have a little constraint on space. So uh, that's, that's definitely a very big challenge to, um, I guess, determine what people want to see, um, what's obviously going to sell, and uh, you know what what will give a good representation of what Rainbow carries and what Rainbow offers through its catalog. Uh, the exhibit crew travels a lot in order to get to the convention. <laughs> Could leave anywhere from seven o'clock in the morning to five or six o'clock in the evening, then uh, drive for anywhere from three hours up to three days uh, to get out to like the West Coast. We've definitely built some good uh, camaraderie or uh, friendships while we're out on the road. Uh, in a typical convention season, we have been known to put 30,000 miles on a, on a truck. <laughs> uh, we'll have our crew leader, who's someone, someone who's been doing conventions for, for a while, knows the ins and outs of Rainbow and, and uh, the ins and outs of the product that we carry. Uh, he's basically in charge of running the operation. Then also we try and include a homeschooling consultant at every convention that we can if we have one available that weekend. Um, and of course our homeschooling consultants are a wealth of knowledge. They just know all kinds of things about curriculum and supplemental items and maybe sometimes even you know, a good way to teach it if you have, are having some difficulty um, teaching a particular subject with one of your children. We approach homeschooling conventions as being a pretty vital part in any homeschooling family's journey. Um, there, are, there are so many good things that happen at homeschooling conventions. You get to meet and network with other homeschoolers. Um, you get to be encouraged and, and challenged um, by all the sessions you get to go to. And then of course, the third aspect, which is where we come in, is that you get to get your hands on material. You get to really take that time to look at things, compare things, find a, a gem somewhere out there that will work perfectly for your family. And so we kind of approach the homeschooling convention as you know, something that any homeschooling family can get some benefit from. Homeschooling conventions have really been kind of our, our staple as far as getting ourselves into the, the homeschooling community. Thank you.